This is Alldale, one of the richest districts of the city, where high society types take strolls in the park or visit the museum with all their leisure time. Every thief in town knows there's plenty of wealth and bubbles to be stolen among the opulence. Bubbles. Only a few know how to get at it. But I've got other things on my mind. It's not enough that every keeper in the city is trying to kill me, but now there's a mysterious old woman after me as well. So good. I've come to Aldale to find Inspector Drept. From what I've heard, he's obsessed with the fable of a murderous hag, and I'm sure there's a connection. I hope he has a lead for me, because if he doesn't, then I'm at a dead end. I don't know if that's so sure, Garrett, but anyway... That wealth that you just mentioned could go a long way into my pockets, it could. Anyway, let's continue. And welcome once again, everyone, to Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows with Crazy Man Gone Wild. I don't see why they couldn't have come to see me. It's a great inconvenience for me to have to travel all the way there. Some people have no manners at all. Do that now. We're lucky to have him, with Inspector Drept taking offices so close. Should keep the riffraff at bay. Okay. I haven't noticed any difference in the level of riffrafferty. In fact, I don't feel safe walking down my own street. And Wilson says there's an absolute throng of pagans that have taken over the park. So? Throng, really? Is he sure it's pagans? Maybe they're just, you know, shabby. Either way, when's the last time you enjoyed a stroll through the Aldale Public Gardens? Hmm, Lady Cafferty? Well, just the other... Hmm, was it... I'm sure I recall it wasn't too, too long ago. Hmm, so much for your Inspector Drept keeping us all safe. Really, Oscar, you poo-poo everything. <laughs> Besides, I really do feel safer. I'll wager you only feel safe when you're in the pub, considering the inspector's workshop is right near there. Am I right? Tut tut. The discussion is over. <laughs> oh, these all high class folks and their poo poos and their tut tuts and their riff raffeting and their high class manner. I don't know. They make me laugh and they hurt. I said I don't want to see it. Is that the guy? Ah, oh, come on. Now who's got the bad humors, eh? Look, not even a scar. I don't believe it. But it's true, see? Good as new. But that thing infested to the very bone. I was sure they'd have to resort to the knife. Doc says once you get rid of the bad humors, then the ox blood can do its job. That plus no bathing, still. Say, what's that on your hand? Oh, I don't know. Just a scraper, an abrasion or something. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, who's got money for a doctor, right? <laughs> oh, those guards. I swear I hope they're in Thief 4 when that comes out, because if they aren't, I'll be very upset, because they've been a tradition throughout the Thief game, especially Benny. He He's been very interesting. And more of the humorous side of Thief sometimes, I believe. Well, actually, I do believe that. Since that's what they are supposed to be. But why? Why? I can't even get into my own shop. Yeah, about that. See, I decided it ain't your shop no more. It's mine. You can't do that. I'll go to the city watch. I have friends in high places. Sure, go tell your friends about Out how you way, sold me peasant. gold. They'll be really extra special <coughs> interested uh -huh. in that part. Oh. Are you sure you want your friends checking on the things you sold them over the years? Well, I, uh, the nerve of your insinuation. Still, I don't see you running out the door to tell the city watch. I could repay you. It would just take me a few days, gather the cash. It's too late for that. Besides, it's more than just the money, see? I gotta make an example of you. Just so as everyone knows they can't mess with Jimmy the Knife. Well, I'll just go to my shop then and remove those boards myself. Sure, you could try to play it that way. But if I see you doing it, I'm gonna have to kill you. Kill me? You! You're the one who deserves to die! That almost sounded like a threat, Fogarty, you worm. Don't make me make an example out of you. Now scram. 
I hate the sight of you. All right, hey everyone. Well, this time you will actually see me show some sympathy in killing one for once since the thief of Garrett needs to help this man out for future notices or references. Because once you kill this guy. Later on, you get a bunch of little pretty toys. I missed. How pathetic. He didn't make a noise. He didn't even make a dying sound. Hand. Who's been wounded? No one. But did you really just run all the way over here to check out the blood? Mm, can't be too careful these days. Not when there's money at stake. Yes, whatever you say, but uh, this is being in his place. Attention, Fogarty Goldsmithery is closed until I say so. Signed, the new management, Jimmy the Knife. Well, basically, now that Jimmy the Knife is taken care of, you will no longer have a, uh, a threat, Fogarty. Oh, God's a bull, man. Let's take you out. Oh, I've always also noticed something about all Dales that it has a nice and a good amount of little uh -uh. like uh how do I say it conversations that's the word look is that broken oh yeah it is could use one of those just wasted two I wasted one really because I missed. Of course they died, Amanda, old girl. The two of them didn't have half a brain between them. Exactly my point, Zachary. The mother, now she had a brain and a plan. Women often do. The whole thing was her idea. Trouble is, they were too pea-brained to pull it off. Snuffed out by some security device, of course. But after, they were already inside the museum. Well, if you're game, I am too. Should be an absolute bundle of fun. I can't wait to outwit a guard. I do hope there'll be guards. But we should do it soon, before the city watch discover that tunnel we found. Really, Zachary? If they haven't found the tunnel yet, there's no reason to think they'll ever find it. No. There's time for more planning before our naughty little heist. You're not going to spoil the fun and go all scaredy-cat on me, are you, Amanda? Of course not, Zacky Poo. I just want everything to go perfectly. I mean, there's only one museum, and I don't want to rush in without the right outfit. Quite right, darling. Proper attire. I hadn't thought of that. Well, you didn't know any little heist now is in uh, my head. Someone has cut my purse! The effrontery! Who's that? Is this it? It's close to the museum, I think. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I just want to know how to... Alright, I don't remember how to do it. It's a stupid plate. I don't think it does one. What's to say? Alright, boys, here's your lunch. You can't go robbing the Willstrom Museum on an empty stomach. I ain't worried. You got the tunnel dug real good. Make sure a mother... Oh, makes sense. Makes a mother proud. Remember, once you're inside, you have to watch out for all those fancy safety gadgets that I got. Anyway, eat up and good luck. Hugs, ma. Oh, look like they left some bread. 
this tunnel will be used later on.